What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com and today we have the WL Toys K989. It's a 128 scale little RC car. This is a 4x4. Go ahead and take this off there. You can kind of see it in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, as far as this motor size, it's a 130. The servo is a 5, kilo, or five grams and then it's got a 4000 milliamp LiPo to 7.4 volt. Uh, Runtime on this thing, they say about 20 minutes. So not too bad. So take a look at the outside of the box here. Now it did get kind of beat up in transit, but hopefully everything is okay. Does it have uh, ball bearings with it? So pretty good, man. I'll put the links down in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. It is affiliate link anyhow from Banggood, but I appreciate them sending it out to me for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do a little competition with it too. I do have a little dyno. So this thing says it does about 30 kilometers an hour. So we got a little dyno here to see how fast it goes. Now this car does come with extra gear so you can kind of gear it up or change that gear ratio. But we're gonna go with just the stock gears just as like a little mini Z would come. So I did ahead of time. So this does come with two lipos in it. So at first I checked it all out and I was like, oh, okay, it does come with two lipos. But it's like 60 bucks, man. So it's a really inexpensive get you started anyhow. USB charger so nice size radio so and just takes <laughs> four double a's is uh what you'll need for this not included your on and off switch right down at the bottom and then you do have some other adjustments over there in your antenna but it has a nice little foam grip to it let's go ahead and put that aside as far as the car goes let's see if it has a little plastic film on it think it does but pretty cool I mean obviously it's not a licensed vehicle so everything is kind of changed as far as its names and everything like that go but it's got kind of like an on-road type tires aluminum chassis that's with it you can see our little motor hanging out in there so let's get this thing get the body off of there take a look at this thing all right so it does have a little plastic film that's on there so just Take that off of there so to give it a nice little shine just on there for protection all right taking a closer look at this car anyhow you can see it does have a aluminum chassis like i said it does have aluminum chassis brace on the top of it it does have integrated type uh, electronic speed controller slash receiver kind of all in one but it does look like it's got a little micro servo that's on the side over here because it is using just a standard three wire type electronics, uh, sorry, type of connection for the servo. So pretty cool. Like it, let's go ahead and throw a battery in this thing and uh, take a look at it, man. It's got independent suspension on it. Really nice. All right. Wow, 26 kilometers, not bad at all, man. So it said it'd do 30, so we're only that four off there. Not bad, man. Okay, so it was making a little, that little humming noise. It was just the throttle, it was just wanting to kind of move forward, so I just backed it down a little bit on the, thr the throttle, so that way you don't have that little noise anymore. Just to try to, in let's see how fast this little guy goes as far as this a Mini Z. I'll put links in the description for both of them. Again, obviously the, um, WL Toys is one that we don't sell. It is affiliate link, but we do sell the little mini Z's from Kyosho. So let's go ahead, see how fast this one goes. Never tested it as of yet. All right, so we're gonna do a run on this, see how this thing does or doesn't. And the first thing, yeah, I can't. I was trying to run it before just to see, but it doesn't have sharp turning on it. Okay, so uh, one thing I had to do is because this thing can't turn very tight is on the servo horn, it was set a little bit lower. I'm not sure how, it's dark, it's plastic, it's black plastic, so it's hard to see it. But if you see where this is, it was down a little bit lower. All right, so we're gonna just see how this thing steers with the new setting I did to it. I wanna let you know too, I've done a little bit of test runs with it and this motor is burning up. It 
the way it's set up right now, the way it came to me is the fact that it, everything is very stiff on it, it doesn't roll smoothly, it is just killing this motor. It is quick, it would be nice if it had some different electronics in it, so it could actually be able to manage the throttle a little bit better. Cause this is just like, I'm just tapping on the throttle right now. It, you, you can't give it anything, it just, it's going to slide all over the place. But it's pretty cool, but it needs to, I think it might, I think, honestly, I think it's over driving the motor. All right, on to the Kyosho Mini Z. It's just gonna be a quick run. Not, I'll just give it full throttle on the straightaway. All right, so here's my thoughts on this car. Anyhow, it's gonna be really fast. Got lots of power to it. It's not made for this type of track. It's you need to, this thing doesn't need to be on a track or it needs to be on a big track so it can open it up. The other thing is it doesn't move for squat. So the motor gets hot really quick on it. If you want to have better steering on it, you will need to raise that up like I did on that servo horn. Um, I bought it, well I didn't buy it, Banggood sent it to me, but the whole idea of it was to run it on this track and just kind of see if it could beat up on some of the mini Z's anyhow. now. Mini Z's definitely wins when it comes to just the body. This thing is not very great. Throttle control as far as electronics that they're using in the Mini Z, definitely better throttle control on it. Now, as far as upgrading this car to make it more manageable and things like that, I'm sure all that stuff is out there. Uh, and I've seen some other guys on some other channels, you know, upgrade some of these cars, make them better. So it's all out there. You know, how much is it gonna cost to make it a little bit better? I don't know with the electronics go. But um, yeah, I'll put the links down in the description below if you guys wanna get one of these. I think if you're not running on a track and you're just kinda of running around maybe on a nice smooth open area, this thing's gonna be a ripper for sure. So uh, for like 60 bucks or so, it comes with like at the time of the recording with two LiPo batteries, it's not a bad deal at all, man. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Affiliate links are down in the description below for this little guy. But you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Later.